call that Gaben's Blessing. Lift up, Ari. Who's he got? Looks like he's found Saberlight. Immediate sip in from Brial from a mile away. Meanwhile, Tomato, he just destroyed Crit with this wolf form. It's too he's much destroying damage. Everyone. It's too much damage. Arvid, Arvid, get the hell out of there. Tomato, has he gone too far? Not quite. He'll go on to Arteezy. This does not look very Good balanced. Game. GG is called. They've had enough. Oh, you saw Wolf by Tiny. Let me introduce you to Wolf by Abaddon. My goodness. That is scary. Oh, that was an interesting one. Yeah. Kind of quicker resolve than I expected. Underwhelming compared to the regen items, we go for the items and we forget the heroes of Warlock and the types of these. So, White Mon, beautiful game, great positioning. He's got the boots of bearing. This is the guy you want to build it on. And uh, how good did this win feel for you? Uh, I mean, uh, I feel really good. It's, I think it's uh, the the toughest uh, opponents for us, I think. Um, I mean, actually we're not that prepared because everyone is kind of sick back, back, uh, going back from Peru. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we just play. Yeah. Just play? It certainly worked. Um, is, is Warlock a hero you really enjoy playing? Uh, yeah, it's, it's really <laughs> fun to play Warlock. <laughs> Each there, and I guess that's uh, even. <laughs> All right. I mean, uh, congratulations on your win. That's back-to-back -back wins against Rebellion here at the NADBC from Tour 1 now to Tour 2. It wasn't a 2-0, it was a 2-1. I wanted to go all the way back to game number one, where uh, Saberlight had the Broodmother, and Ari stole the webs for at some point. So I want to ask you, who was the better Broodmother? Was it Saberlight or Ari and Rubik? <laughs> uh, it's... I would say maybe Ari. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I mean, he made a lot of space on that. But then uh, going all the way back to game three, I mean, you were able to tie up the series and heading into the draft. Rebellion, they seem to favor like these previous patch heroes, you know, like they're living history, basically. They don't look towards the future. Um, was it easy to adapt with these new patch winners against them, with the Abaddons, the Warlocks, especially in that game three draft? Yeah, I, I think it's not like a big patch. It's still like same patch, I think. Just some couple of nerf and buff heroes. And yeah, we we read it and we figure it out what's the best for this patch, yeah. All right, all right, nice. All right, hello and congrats on the win. I was going to ask you, since you just got back from Peru, like what was the biggest lesson your team learned while in Peru? Uh, what's our biggest lesson? I think yeah. we just need to play like, like online because at online we are strong, but in the <laughs> land we are kind of <laughs> we're kind of soft. The war take away. Like online, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is something a lot of teams do actually discuss, like making sure you do play like you play online on land. So mm -hmm. that's a very good lesson to take away. So my second question was going to be. What is like your role on the team other than just being the POS five player? Like, do you do the shot calling? Do you like help with people if they're down, or like, what is your role outside of just being the support player? Yeah, I make a lot of shot calls and uh, which which map do do we want to play? Something like that. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I mean, uh, certainly doing well for you in this series, that's for sure. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, coming from uh, SCA, you know, this year you've been in NA. Um, what's the biggest difference between the two regions for you? Uh, the biggest difference, I think, SCA, I don't know, SCA right now it feels like they their draft is uh, with... SCA is just... I don't know, they still play for like late game. They play like really slow. And the NA, we're just playing fast. We play with the timing, with the objective, something like that. But SEA, it's really slow. You need to like get the second draws or the third draws. Then you can go to high ground, something like that. I don't know, it's just, for me, SEA is just really slow compared to the NA, yeah. I actually want to ask you about that. Which one do you prefer personally? Do you like the faster tempo or do you like the more long uh, stretched out games? 
uh, I, I prefer the 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 fast game. Yeah. All right. Nice speed player. Speed player. player. Um, well, you know, uh, considering where you are now, uh, I got to ask. You know, we always used to see you eating in the draft. So, uh, what's your favorite food where you are now? In here, in America. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just eating whatever the Timados mom make it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Put it in front of what's she cooking? Yeah, yeah. What's she cooking? Yeah. I I, I don't know. I think some like chicken or beans, pumpkin soup, something like that. Yeah. Mm. Sounds lit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let her cook. Let her yeah. cook, indeed. Yeah. yeah. It seems to bring the wins. <laughs> exactly. Good yeah. fuel. Good fuel. Maybe that's what you need on land is uh, a bit of Tomato's mum's cooking. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Tomato, uh, White Mon, thank you very much for joining us and talking to us. And of course, uh, best of luck in the rest of NADPC to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I go like, thank you, Tomato's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was about to. I was like, yeah. is that a weird thing to say? Thank you.